Hey everyone, it's Keith here at Essex Recording Studios and today we are in the control room with a ton of guitars. I'm going to do a video on this one. It's an Ibanez RG2620 straight from Team Jcraft. This is the top, top production models uh, Ibanez makes in their top factory in Japan. So this is a really cool and really special guitar. I love the cases on these uh, Ibanez Prestige guitars. You've got a, it's kind of hard to tell in this light, but you've got a mother of pearl Ibanez logo here and um, the super cool, very thin and very flat wizard neck. Now this guitar was actually artist used by a Polish guitarist here in a London based, well now London based metal band. Um, let's see, what do we have here? We've got Japanese Goto tuners. You've got the Team J-Craft stamp on the back, made in Japan with the serial number. And you've just got this awesome neck that is super, it's not only is it thin, you know, and I don't have the world's biggest hands, but it is flat. It's, it's uh, thinner and flatter than a uh, Jackson or, or ESP neck, for sure. As far as I'm concerned, and I am the world's biggest Jackson fan, but these are the fastest necks in the business. And that is why you see the guitar virtuosos playing these models. You know, Steve Vai, John Petrucci, Joe Satriani, the G3 guys. This is what they play. And it's because they are made for fancy, fancy fret work. All right. Now, this actually has the John Petrucci uh, custom pickups. I think it's the, the Liquid Crunch can't rem remember the name of them, but, but both of these come as a set straight from him. And you've got this killer Ibanez uh, wizard low profile Floyd Rose type bridge. And again, much lower profile than the Floyd Rose. I like these bridges a lot. Um, I don't know what the deal is if it's, I've seen some that say licensed by Floyd Rose. I've seen others that are just stamped Ibanez like this. So I don't know, um, where this falls, but, um, it's definitely different than all of the licensed Floyd Roses I've ever encountered. The, uh, the graphic is, is really cool. It's slightly, um, embossed, a little bit raised. So it's, it's not just a, a flat graphic. You do have a little bit of like, you can feel that ridge on that paint there. Um, that being said, it's only very, very mild. It's not enough to like catch on anything. Um, and that is the factory paint. I think it's called like ice cubed or something like that. Um, yeah, you can see there's some cloth stuffed in there. And that is to prevent any vibration from the str springs in the tremolo system from creating any noise or having an effect on any tone or sound, especially when you're recording, which this guitar was used to do. Um, the neck is just absolutely beautiful. And, um, yeah, I think that should give you a good idea of what the RG2620 is like in person. The uh, the inlays, I think these are, are these the mirror style inlays? No, I think these are just the kind of silver dot inlays. Um, they have, some of the Ibanezes have abalone, some have mother of pearl, and some have a, a cool mirror inlay. This one's just like a, uh, kind of a, kind of a semi-reflective silver. Uh, rosewood fretboard. I think that kind of covers all the bases there. All right, well, this should give you a good idea of what one of these guitars is like in person. If you've got any questions, comments, maybe you've owned one of these, uh, do not af be afraid to get in touch. We love hearing from you guys, and do follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that. We need the love. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up, and I will see you shortly with the next guitar. Take it easy.